We're going to New York City for the holidays. Once I get to the airport in New York, I'm gonna have to take two trains to go to Penn Station and then walk to my brother's house. We're about to go to the Broadway strip to see some people coming out. What? Open it up. Woo. So Daniel Radcliffe is on Broadway right now for Merrily We Roll Along. And we didn't get tickets for the show because we didn't have time. But we went to the stage door after and there was already people piled up. Everyone's so calm, I love it. I think a lot of people go on like a daily basis to get things signed, but we were able to get kind of in like the second layer of people. And he actually came out and he literally went down the line. Nobody was screaming, it was so quiet, which was weird. And he literally just came to us and then the mom in front of me, like we had a deal, we had an arrangement. After she got her things signed, she was gonna duck out so that I could go up there and she complied. And that's how we met Daniel Radcliffe. Andy choked. Andy choked, he couldn't he didn't get a photo. Just went thrifting and got a free people's skirt for 99 cents. About to watch Wonka. Look how bougie this theater is. These are the entrances. This one's two floors. <laughs> There's sparkly water? Where is it? I personally thought the movie was very cute. I wanted to eat all the chocolate and there were some catchy songs. And we go somewhere. Then our parents got into town, so we went out to dinner in Chinatown. We went to Golden Shanghai and the food was so good. It was like comfort Chinese food. It really hit the spot. Okay, we need to pause here because I got the banana pudding for Magnolia Bakery three nights in a row. It is worth all the hype. It had Nilla wafers, bananas, and as the moms like to say, was not too sweet, but still hit the little sweet treat craving. So the next day was actually Christmas Eve. We trained over to Central Park. Booked and busy. Look at it. Oh my god, it's about to get run over. It's climbing with the thing. And just strolled around, admired the scenery. Oh. Wait, it's hot. Guests of the new celebrity Ding Dang Dong stay at the world renowned Plaza Hotel. New York's most exciting hotel experience. A lot of the bougie storefronts had their Christmas decorations up. It was very shiny, intricate, elaborate. Did not buy anything, but it was fun to look at. And Christian Dior had their huge display for the light shows that were going on pretty much every night. And then it was time for Lion King on Broadway. Now this is my third time seeing Lion King on Broadway. It is one of my favorites. The cast is so talented. If you are new to Broadway, I would highly suggest Lion King. This is a really good seat. Then we had dinner at Surutan Tan, which is my favorite restaurant when I used to live in New York. If you go, you have to get the mushrooms, my favorite mushrooms of all time. I'm putting my hand for sale. They're actually not that big. <laughs> they're not all spicy scallops, are they? They're not supposed to be. Afterwards, we stopped by the holiday market at Bryant. I really like these like mortar. They're made of olive trees. Which was packed and so many stores, just rows and rows of stores in different categories. There was food, gifts, Christmas decor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys so much. All right, Christmas day, most things are closed on Christmas, but we managed to do pretty much everything that we could, starting off with the High Line. Oh, 
Hudson Yard Mall was actually open. All the stores were closed, but the actual mall itself was open and it was very Christmassy in there, lots of lights. <laughs> Yes, please. St. Patrick's Cathedral was also open. I like the stained glass. The stained glass was absolutely mesmerizing. It reminded me of a lot of the churches that I had been to in Europe. And then it was time for the Radio City Rockets. So we kicked off the morning by going to the MoMA or the Museum of Modern Art. Some Picasso, we had the Starry Night. And then another one of my favorite things we did, we climbed to the top of the Statue of Liberty. We went to the Crown. It's not expensive to do, but you do have to reserve months ahead of time. And we took this little ferry all the way out to the Statue of Liberty. And then we climbed the 176 steps to the pedestal first. Oh, look up. You're probably the thing with your eye. Heads, let's feel it. It's okay? Okay. Any questions? Thanks. Thank you. And then the remaining 162 stairs all the way up to the crown. Oh. I'm currently inside the Statue of Liberty, climbing up to the crown. The crown was a little claustrophobic, I'm not gonna lie, but it was cool seeing the point of view from being at the top. There was not much actually in the top, but it was cool looking down on everyone. Where? I can't see. POV or in the Statue of Liberty. It's going a long way to go. And then on Ellis Island, there was a museum of immigration and it basically walked us through how intense the process was back in the day for the immigrants and all the tests that they had to pass. Then we went to the Harry Potter store in Manhattan that was actually really epic and it had a lot of props and really cool souvenirs. We've got Ravenclaw's diadem, some real Death Eater masks, the firebolt used in the Tom movie, Riddle's diary with the basilisk teeth in it, all the horcruxes. We also have bathrooms too. Okay, would you like to put your second with you? So my brother and I decided to go to the Museum of Broadway because we are Broadway geeks. It was super cool. They had so many costumes, props, and just setups from all the shows in Broadway history. 
just going in chronological order from the first Broadway show all the way up to the most recent one. And I just kind of love learning about the history of some of these shows and getting to see some of the props up close. Afraid each night for someone exactly like you. Why should we spend? Yellow Brick Road. Those love scenes exactly like you. You make me feel so great. I wanna hand the world to you. You seem to understand every little foolish dream. I'm dreaming, scheme, I'm scheming. I know why my mother told me to be true. She meant me for someone exactly like you. This is the male um, dressing room, which is cool. Every space has that, but not as well. We're safe. And you know the phantom rides around in a boat? Well, that's a... And then we had to stop at CN Famous Foods, which was literally my favorite noodle shop when I lived in New York City. I got the lamb cumin one. I ate like 700 Afghans when I ate this. And then because we just loved our shows, my brother and our friend Foz went to the Cirque du Soleil Twas the Night Before Christmas show <laughs> in Madison Square Garden Theater. I stopped at Angelina's Bakery after to get some sweet treats. Foz wanted to try the Bloomin' Hot Chocolate, but they didn't have it at this location. Wait, can I try your bread? Yeah. Okay, so, what is a New York trip without going to the Met? There's actually a Manet and Degas exhibit, so this is not always there. But I didn't know that these two were like, they were kind of like best friends, but also enemies. We stopped by this little coffee shop and then we got some pho. And then guys, we were front row for Little Shop of Horrors, starring Constance Wu and Corbin Blue. <laughs> And of course, we had to meet them after. And then we went to B and H Photo, which is like the largest store for cameras, anything photo videography okay, so related. I move it. You can collapse the legs and you can use it as a secondary grip. Yep. So, whoa. So follow you when you can. And I also ended up getting my film photos developed hold there. Hold it by the camera. You just hold it from the bottom. Bottom. Whoa. Got it, got it. Yeah. It is very stable, yeah. But I had a wonderful holidays in New York City with my family, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.